Today I'm going to show you how to model and create database using MySQL Workbench. This is the home page of MySQL Workbench after you open MySQL Workbench. First you will go to um, models and click on plus sign. Here you can see add diagram. Um, so um, in order for you to model, uh, start modeling, you'll click on this icon that says add new diagram. After that you'll see this page pop up and then uh, to start you're going to click on this icon for place a new table click on that button and then click on uh, the screen wherever you like and uh, you're gonna edit this table so let's put the name university university uh, the first variable I'm going to use for this university table is going to be, uh, let's say, id, uni underscore id. And then it's going to be your primary key, uh, not null, and then also let's um, auto increment this. And then second one, I'll put uni underscore name, um, also not null variable. And let, let me make it bigger. A uni underscore city, uni underscore state. Uh, let's just put four variables right now here. And then, so since university has students, I'll create a new table with students. And same thing, edit this table and change the name to student. Uh, the first one is going to be your primary key, not null. And here is your ID student. You can change the name or leave it like this. And I'm going to leave it like this. Uh, so for uh, the second variable I put student underscore name not null uh, or sorry it should be student right here and then student underscore year and not null again let's leave uh, this with three variables right now and then also uh, to link these two I'm gonna create or click on many to many icon and then click on university table and then student table here you can see it has created another table that says university has student so there is your many to many relationship and then also university has uh, professors. So I'm going to create a new table and edit this uh, table name. I'll put professor. Um, and then for variables, I'll put this one as primary key, not no. ID professor, I'll leave it like that. Uh, professor underscore name not null and then professor underscore let's see uh, department uh, and then I'll leave uh, this table with only three variables um, and the same thing um, many to many relationship with the university and professor tables there you go. It automatically creates a new table that links university to professor. Um, 
also I'll put how about some uh, staff for university um, or let's do classes classes offered okay and then I'll put classes offered primary key not no um, and class underscore name class underscore how about department and not null again and oops And then same thing with this many to many relationship. Let me arrange these. Okay. Uh, there you go. Much clearer right now. Okay, here's your uh, model. And many to many link tables for the database. Um, if you like my video, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.